dude, like, <clears throat> welcome back, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. I gotta share this with you. I, I actually read this, and I just, man, I'm, I'm brewing. I'm so mad right now because I, I just don't understand. We, we are at a breaking point. I, I, I'm giving up on society right now. Uh, what's happening is we need to be look at people as humans. We need to look at people as being like us and different. But, but I mean, they're like, they're just the same as you. Okay. But they're different experiences and stuff. Like they're, they're not just drawn with this hate. I'm at the point now where I, I think, and I've said a lot, I've said this a lot privately, but the devil's strong right now. That's the only thing that keeps me sane because I can't figure out anything else. Look, let me do this with you. Red House victim calls teen an active shooter in homicide trial. I just realized there was, I didn't have my door closed and there was a vacuum going. I'm still going to go on through this. So get this. Evidently on Good Morning America, which by the way, if you have Apple Plus, the morning show is a great show, but it just makes me, I just, for some reason, I know it's Matt Lauer in the thing, uh, who, who they're trying to be, but I'm like, I just think Good Morning America the whole time. I don't know why, but uh, it just makes me hate these morning shows and all this stuff. So Kyle Rittenhouse, charged with murdering two people and winning another during a racial justice protest in Kenosha last year. It was a BS protest is what it was, okay? There's no racial justice. They're trying to say it was because, uh, was his name, Edward Blake or something like that, was shot by the police like seven times. Yeah, the dude was trying to kidnap kids. The dude had a knife in his hand. The dude was going for another weapon. The only problem was, was that the seven bullets were wasted? I guess, yes. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I made myself laugh. I'm mad right now. You have to forgive me. I'm really, I'm like, ah. To me, it seemed uh, like it, uh, this is Gage. This is Gage. This is that stupid Gage Gross Putts, or whatever his last name is here. Gross Kraut. Gross Kraut. I like Kraut, but he's Gross Kraut. To me, I mean, you know, he gets up there with those, why does he have those big old ass gauges in his ears? Like, that's weird too, right? If your name's Gage, you have earring gauges. He gets up to that. He tries to do his Hollywood voice and his Hollywood hair. To me, it seemed like a child. It seemed like a child. Not he seemed like a child. It seemed like a child. Who just got caught doing something that he wasn't supposed to do. Like a uh, kid get, fat kid getting caught with his hand in the cookie jar. I get in trouble for that all the time. Guess what? Um, it's a little bit different here, dude. A little bit different here. More upset that he got caught and less upset that he had done what he had done and what he had taken and the numerous lives that he affected through his actions that night. Gross Kraut said what he had done was defend his life. I mean, it doesn't matter anything about weapons or anything else. All that's excusable when you're in defense of your life. Life is precious. I know for some people, they think it's a throwaway. They think it's an inconvenience. That's why the devil's strong. They're calling Gross Kraut a paramedic? He's not. He, he His license, he hasn't been licensed since like 2017. That was in court. A paramedic, Gross Kraut, was the only survivor of the three people that Mr. Rittenhouse shot on 25 August 2020 in Kenosha, Wisconsin, during a night of unrest after police shot a black man, Jacob Blake, that's his name, seven times in the back. The two dead victims were Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber. No, it said Mr. Rittenhouse here. I thought at first this was going to say Mr. Rosenbaum. No. They're leaving out that Joseph Rosenbaum. You remember, if you saw through the trial, they talked a lot about this plastic bag he had. And he threw that plastic bag with what they put his belongings in when they let him out of jail that morning. And that nice, what a great guy. Remember, 
five kids. Five kids. Boys. Little boys. Now that little five foot three midget of a I've had turds bigger than him. He destroyed their lives. He knows how many more. He knows what he did in prison. The whole time he was in jail, he had uh, he was in trouble. Getting in fights with the uh, officers. and I mean, the guy should never have been let out. Uh, I don't know about the other guy. Huber, whatever. Uh, he, he's the guy who tried to take his head off with a uh, skateboard. Here's one of the things that they're not talking about. They trained. I bet uh, Andy No would uh, have something on this uh, somewhere. They actually trained. Antifa trained people about how to use skateboards as weapons. <laughs> Think about that one. You know what? I, uh, just, Mr. Grosscross said it was emotional to watch his would-be murderer testifying about the attack. His would-be murderer. Jeez, great. When is self-defense? When does it happen to, to these people? Oh, that's right. It doesn't. You're supposed to let them come into your house and do all this stuff, and it doesn't matter. It's not worth taking life. I've actually heard... What can you say on these things anymore? Well, you know, when you're trying to slow down a diesel, you retard the engine. And I've heard that those people try to say that rape is better than shooting the uh, assailant. Anyway. I can't look at this guy. Look, he's doing that Hollywood hair thing. Look at his eyes. He's got his eyeliner on. He's had his... I, I guarantee you he gets a uh, uh, agent. Ah. His lawyer, Kimberly Motley, spelled like Motley Crew, said that the teen should be recognized as an active shooter. So he's like, uh, what's that dude down there in Florida? Uh, what was his name? Uh, I forget his name. He's a, uh, uh, what was that, Jared or something? Or Cruz was that kid or something like that? Um, down in um, Florida, the Parkland guy. So he's the same as the Parkland kid. As she pointed out, the son's testimony was inconsistent. Really? Mm. This is finer than frog hair stuff here. Okay? Finer than frog hair. Wait, didn't Gage have uh I mean, did he get caught with something wrong? Anyway, uh, you know, he was not, I believe, in imminent fear of danger for his own life, she said. I mean, thank God for the comma, or you wouldn't have, or you'd have, you know he was uh, not in imminent fear of, uh, of danger for his own life. I mean, she spoke that, that is a high dollar attorney words there, the way she did that out. Because she put, in fear of danger for his own life. People need to pay attention to the inconsistent statements from the active shooter and the def or the defendant. From the active shooter or the defendant. Hey, David, that would be two different things. So, we're going to look up who this uh, Kimberly Motley is here in a second. Um, on Wednesday, Mr. Rittenhouse broke down crying during his testimony, which he insisted that he acted in self-defense and didn't do anything wrong. Uh, that was a uh, PTSD attack. Um, when I saw him crying, like, I've never been hit so hard emotionally with something. And, I mean, I cried with him. And I was like, dude, oh my gosh, stop this. And uh, it was, uh, it was, it gave me a f uh, feeling of fear. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, I broke down, he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, he told the court that he was protecting a private property in Kenosha and providing first aid before, you know, he helped people too. He probably saved lives before this, uh, before he shot fatally as two victims. Uh, I like how they put at in there. He shot, he fatally shot two people. I like how they call them victims. His two victims. 
boy, way not, way to not be uh, prejudiced here, Yahoo News. I bet you we get to the bottom of this. They've got uh, comments turned off. Mr. Gross Kraut, who was offering medical service at the time. No. Yeah, technically he was, but not when he pulled his Glock 27 out on Kyle. He told the court over right that though he was holding a pistol, he pointed at the accused only when he saw the teenager raise his rifle at him. I was never trying to kill the defendant. Um, wow. I would not know that from the video. Mr. Gross Kraut testified. I think he thought he was going to uh, kill Kyle and be a hero. I think that's what he thought. But you know what? He would have been to uh, some of these sickos. In that moment, I was trying to preserve my own life. Oh, I was trying. I was doing self-defense. So see, he's learned later on. You can, um, you can, a person can start a fight. And during that time that the fight's going on, kill somebody that they started the fight with. And at the moment that they kill somebody, that could be self-defense. Now, wrap your mind around that one. You see why law school is so hard for people. So what happens is that there's a, like a point that uh, it turns. Um, it, it's, it's a debatable thing. It, it's, um, there's been a lot of, you know, there's cases on it and everything else, but the, the water is not clear on it. And uh, it's, it, it is there. That's the, that's the frog hair they're holding on to here. Ah, uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, uh, so yeah. So he was on a pistol. He pointed it at the accused only when he saw the teenager races. I was never going to kill the defendant. In that moment, I was trying to preserve my own life, but doing so while also taking the life of another is not something that I'm capable of or comfortable doing. Grosskraut said he wants people to remember that Rittenhouse was an active shooter. I think the most important thing to remember is that Kyle was an active shooter. He murdered two men. And he attempted to murder me. Why is this on the internet while the trial is going on? Why are people reporting about this? This, the jury has been vetted. They are of Kenosha. The, the jury is the people. You're judged by the laws, by the people that are, are around you. The laws in California, the laws in Florida, the laws in Good Morning America don't matter. This... lights me up. Um, the trial is not about whether or not Kyle will have what he did. The trial is about you, the American way. And right now, self-defense is what's on trial. The right to self-defense. Last summer when you saw all the BLM crap going on and they were going to people's houses, they were pounding on their doors and saying, you know, we're, this is going to be ours and all this other stuff. And then they come in and find 80 million votes end up coming out for, uh, you know, prosperity. And during all that time, all the... the Donald's, the Wendy's, all those uh, targets, all that stuff that was looted, set on fire, everything else. Is there prosecutions you heard about? Did the FBI have drones following people around like they did here? I'm telling you, they're doing this against self defense. So next time when they come, they're really coming. 
You're not gonna stop. Look at um uh gosh, I can't think of his name. The guy in uh Missouri. They went up to all his property. He pulled out his AR. He's an attorney. The dude was in his right there too. Court said so. Court said so. Does, does that matter? No. It doesn't matter. God, I hope he wins the Senate. But, um, yeah. That's, this is what we have, people. This is what we have. So, um, you're going to sit around. You cannot pay attention. Keep your thumb stuck firmly up your butt. And then just thinking, oh, it's all, you know, whatever. Make believe or something like that. Close your ears, close your eyes, walk off somewhere, you know. Oh, go watch some football. But yeah, get, in, get back into the Sunday night football, uh, uh, NFL. Yeah, that'd be awesome. College isn't any better. Jeez. I'm a huge college fan. But this is uh, you're doing. You're not. <sighs> Please subscribe. Appreciate you guys. I do have nothing but love in my heart. I'm just tired of I'm tired of the haters, you know? I'm I'm tired of the evil. And in the mortal words original uh, Denny, can't we all just get along? Till the next time, go with God, my friends. Aloha and Rodeshe. I think I said that right. I can't speak a foreign language. My Italian's off. Ah! What am I doing? Hey, thanks for watching. And please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Appreciate it.